everyone and welcome to a brand new let's play I'm of course classic gamer um, and welcome to a game that I've never completed I've got a certain far so quite far and I've never um, completed it and um, I, I tested it yesterday uh, it worked fine I was struggling a bit with the controls but I think I'm all right now so welcome to let's play the thing um, a game set um, in the same kind of u in the same universe as uh, John Carpenter's is it John Carpenter you know it is John Carpenter um, uh, the thing um, obviously the thing is a 1982 uh, film um, starring Kurt Russell he's Kurt Russell yeah he's Kurt I'm pretty sure it's Kurt Russell uh, they, uh, for some reason, I always I knew it was earlier, but now as soon as I go to say it, my mind just goes blank. Uh, so if people know that for sure, please let me know. Uh, obviously, I've just announced um, my other channel. I'm making that now known on this playthrough. Um, and that's Spectrum Gamer. Uh, if you want to go and look at that, I'll leave a link in the description down below. So please go and check that out. Uh, this will be going up shortly after I start. Uh, I've done this video. I'm going to upload this sort of out in the next week. Hopefully, get it done within a I'm good amount of part. This tape when I'm finished. If none of us. Uh, that was weird. All right. So without further ado, we're going to start a new game. I'm going to go on easy because I I really 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 can't. Um, I've never done this before, so I just want to have a nice, easy playthrough. If need be, I'll do this on normal another time. Uh, can I do it on normal? We'll do it on easy. We'll do it on easy. Um, and have a nice, just nice, general, nice, pleasant playthrough. Nothing too, uh, you know, big and nothing too strenuous. Let's do it. He's dead. <laughs> Ooh, scary. It's Whitley. What's the situation? Not good. What do you see? Not a goddamn thing in this storm. Have you found anything? Well, your transmitter's down and everything else is foobar. What do you mean? The base is gone, Colonel. It looks like massive explosives damage. Any clues here are gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack. Understood. Do a recon, see if you can find anything that'll give us an idea what happened. I could try to get the chopper back to you within an hour, but his ability's falling fast and the report for your area is not very good. Okay. We'll make a sweep and report back. Roger. Meanwhile, I'll check up on Alpha Team. Oh, Blake. Just remember it's 40 below out there. We both know exposure could sneak up on you. Keep your team together and get them to shelter as quickly as you can. Roger that. Blake out. 
As you play through the first four levels, text pop-ups like this one will come on screen from time to time to explain different parts of the game to you. You can skip them by pressing the triangle button, turn them off entirely by pressing the start button and bringing up the pause menu. And bring up the pause menu then selecting options. You, you can then switch tutorials off by entering the game settings menu. However, they will teach you how to play the game, so it's suggested that you reach you read each tutorial at least once. M more help and advice can be found in the field manual. You can find the field manual in the pause menu by, sele by, by selecting the, the by, by pressing the start button. It's 40 degrees, 40 de degrees below zero in Antarctica. So whatever you are outside, you will suffer from the cold. From the c suffer from the cold. An explosion meter in blue. At the bottom of the screen will show you how much time you have until the temperature begins to actually harm you and take away your health. As you play through the game, you'll begin your objectives. These appear in the top left hand corner of the screen and are, are colour coded. Green text shows that objectives are still active. Orange means that objective has been completed. You can also check the status of all your object objectives by pressing the select button and entering the key but button to enter the keys. Do enter the keys, documents, and objectives menu. Once in this screen, move left, uh, move the left analog stick to highlight the documentation, and then press the X button to view all your objectives. repaired or even a simple bypass and I'm your man. If any of you take on any damage, get back to me ASAP and I'll help you out. I'm not carrying any dead bodies back. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. Alright, so this is your team. Uh, you've got a medic, an engineer, and a general kick-ass guy. Squad member communication. Your squad is made up of three different character classes that you can tail apart from the headgear. Soldiers always have a tough camouflage helmet, engineers don't go anywhere without their trusty cap, and medics like to keep warm in a in a beanie with a red cross on the front. Oh shit, didn't read all that. Trust, uh, yeah, th this game has a trust member, so if you um, shoot your uh, uh, allies or you um, don't give them weapons, they don't trust you. As it will be explained, your squad mates are intelligent people and they will react to your action based on how much they trust you. When your entire when you enter the squad menu you will see a bar by the names of each squad squad member that shows their current level of trust for any their current level of trust level of trust for any squad member. If his level if his level of his trust is green, it means he not he trusts you and will all take all and will take orders from you throughout the mission. If his level is not is in the orange section. It means he doesn't trust you and won't help you. But if but if he isn't convinced you're if he is conv isn't convinced you're an enemy, so he won't attack you. If it if his level of trust is in the red section, it means he doesn't trust you at all and he sees you as an enemy. All right, we need to open this. Basic uh, junction boxes. Tip: Whenever you see an icon, it uh, it means that you can do something by pressing the circle button. So look out for it when exploring the environment or dealing with your squad. Your squad. The junction bo box in front of you is a basic one. When you walk up to it, a message will appear in the center of the screen to tell you the name of the junction box. You can also see a picture of, of a hand and the. Uh, and the yellow bar at the bottom of the screen. This tells you that you can fix this jungle box yourself. To fix the jungle box, press and hold the circle button. You will see a yellow bar start to fill up. When the uh, it is full, the repair is complete. You can release the interaction at any time to stop fixing the jungle box. If then you return to it, press, press circle. So I'm reading a bit too quick. If you then return to it and press, hold the circle button again, you will repair and you will continue from where you left off. Whenever you get low on health, or any of your squad members are hurt bad enough, they 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 don't go. 
they go into man down state, kneeling on the floor. Be careful when a memorial scrub is in this state. It's only a matter of time until they die unless they are healed. Bring your medic within a close proximity of the injured person and he will automatically heal them. Alright, lovely job today. So like I said before, you have exposure on this. So this is the, this is the part from the uh, first game first game, first uh, film, film, uh, which is, I think this is really cool. Not all doors will require you to fix the box. Some of them are just plain locked and require a key. The door in front of you is a locked door and you will need to find the key in order to open, in order to open it. The key could be nearby or, or far away on a table in the hand of a corpse. Wherever you, f whenever you find a key for a locked door, simply return to it and it will automatically open here. The door, the key to this door is hidden underground. So basically, this is just like the first uh, level. Uh, I, I really, I really like this game, um, but I got stuck on like a boss. I never ever finished it. Stuck. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. RJ McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. like a goddamn UFO to me. This shit gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, we're not alone in the universe and all that crap. Check it out and move on. Oh, right, we've got the key now for the door, so we need to go and now do that. Let's get out of here. So yeah, that is a spaceship. Um, I think they found that in the film, if I remember rightly. This is set off for the film, don't forget after the film ends, which is why the place has gone to shit. So I'm going to just do this first section, because um, this isn't very long, so just get it started. An advanced junction boxes. In front of you is an advanced junction box, and only your engineer can fix it and fix these. To get your engineer to fix it in an advanced junction box, you first need to identify the junction box by walking up to it until the name appears, uh, as you would for a basic junction, bo junction box. There are two ways, oh, I'll just let you guys read this.
you've just picked up an adrenaline hypo. In situations where your squad member are suffering from extreme stress, use the adrenaline hypo on them to calm them for a short time. To use the adrenaline hypo on a squad member, press the L1 button to enter your inventory and then press the X button on the center of the screen to take it to take to take you to your items. Push the left analog stick in the direction of the adrenaline syringe and press the X button when it is highlighted. Now press the triangle one to return to the game and approach the get squad member you wish to use the adrenaline on. To use it use the adrenaline syringe, press square. The squad member will now be will now be temporarily calm, but you'll need to you need him to get away from whatever is causing him to be afraid before the effects of the adrenaline wear off. Okay. Ah, oh Christ, what is that? Chill out. Everybody keep tight till we figure out what's going on. School members fear. Feel free to uh, read this, guys, if you want to. I'll, I'll let you guys read it. I compiled a five-page report from the autopsy performed on the anonymous course that we discovered at the Norwegian outpost. It appears that we are dealing with some kind of self-repairing entity that has been able to morph itself into different biological forms. Access to medical supplies is limited to myself and Gary. Code 1138. That's the kind of information. The door in front of you is an access code door. You will need an access code before you open it, before it will open. Access codes can be written down as part of uh, computer terminal mess messages. You do not have to make note of these as bank will remember can remember th remember them. When you found access, uh, when you, when you have found the access code for this door, go up to the uh, access panel next to it and press the circle button to open it. Look for the access code on this door and return when you have found it. Hint. Access codes are usually just a series of numbers and may not obviously be labelled. Alright guys, um, we've got started here and I'm actually going to call that video. Um, this is just where you save the game. Uh, so I'm going to save the game. Um, like I said, I did a test earlier. Everything worked fine. So I'm gonna save the game because it's really t it's really late now, and I'm starting to get tired. Uh, so I, I'm not gonna if I if I carry on, then I'm just not gonna talk very much. It's not very good for you guys. So thank you for watching. This is what I'm gonna call this one. It's been 20 minutes, so it, it's a nice nice long enough video. I'll see you very soon, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye for now.